Hello and- oh hey, that- that's new. Hello and welcome back to the Lunatic Pandora. In... whatever the hell game I'm playing. This one, Final Fantasy VIII, that's it. We ran over here because I want to use a tent. I said I want to use a tent. Okay, and let's take a look at Aura. Yeah, makes you need to curse, like I thought. Is it good at anything? That was actually pretty good for accuracy. And not bad for luck. Meaning I can... oh. Huh. Uh, you only have 90? God damn it, Squall! I thought you were done. Your bun is done. Uh... Well... The silver lining here... <laughs> is that I don't actually need to junction it on... Renoa here, slash selfie. I, yeah. But that does bother me. That is not a full stack. That really bugs me. But yeah, it, it's not terrific for junctioning anyway? So... I don't really need... Okay, well, yeah. Two luck. Big deal. Oh hey, you have maxed out hit. Accuracy. Cool. I think that's a selfie thing. Anyway. Let's... let's get this finished with. I said we would be confronting Adele and saving Renoa for it damn well better be the last time, and I meant it! So let's, let's get on that. I do believe uh, this is the way forward. Oh, no, there's a drop point here, actually. Maybe... no? Aha! I figured it out. And another save point. Hmm. Let's just see... no. Okay. Some, I've noticed sometimes it gives me items there even if I don't do anything in the Chocobo world, but I think that's like an overtime thing. So, I ha it's the same play session as the last time I checked. So, uh, nothing new. Cypher. No more. Please? Renoa? Cypher! No! Bruno and Adele! The sorceress is one! Watch closely, Squall! Well, at least she doesn't have fangs, I guess? She does have claws, though. So, a little bit weird here. Uh, Renoa has randomly had a change of outfits. Also, she appears to be ha halfway absorbed into Adele. So here's the thing. If Renoa dies, it's a non-standard game over. Do not let Renoa die. Do not use any freaking... Um... 
Oh yeah, Adele's also gonna steal HP from Renoma, so you know, watch out for that. But do not use any AoE effects, because it will probably kill Renoma. You have been warned. So, so sorry, Eden. This is not gonna be your moment to shine. Carbuncle, on the other hand, actually no. I'm not gonna do that for a simple reason. And that simple reason is, I'm gonna cast Regen on all of my people. No, I'm not. I'm gonna just kill. I'm just gonna kill her. I did cast Regen on, uh, on Renoa, though, for damn good reason. So... Hmm. Sophie is bringing down my party level, like, majorly, so... This is gonna be a really easy fight. Probably, anyway. It is probably gonna be a very easy fight. <laughs> Stop trying to steal from her and there we go. I'm not, you know, I think, let me think. Right, just kill the damn sorceress, please. Selfie does not hit very hard. I guess in fairness, both Squall and Irvine have basically maxed out physical attack power. Selfie does not. Yeah, I guess that hurt a little bit. And we win. The robot was scarier. If did her face just fall off? That's ew. Uh oh. Yeah, I think Renoa might be possessed. Okay, alone. Just get Renoa back. I was inside Adele, a young Adele. Ultimacia is inside Adele, exactly as she wanted. Okay, this is the show time, folks! Time compression is about to begin! Love, friendship, and courage! Show them what you got! Oh. Huh. Okay, that's kind of odd. That's a little bit weird. Idea's house. I'll probably disappear. Just stay by my side. I won't let you disappear.
Well, this is different. Oh. I forgot about that! <laughs> yep. Welcome to the time-compressed world. Um... Swap you guys out. So, quick recap here. Just to make sure everyone's on the same page. We are in the currently in the time compressed world. The reason we're here is so that we can go to the future. Is so that we're taking advantage of Sorceress Elmissia's evil plan to go to the future so we can kill her there because we can't bring her to us. Got it? I f I feel it, I feel the game made that pretty clear, but I wanted to just go over that quickly to make sure everyone everyone was clear. Okay. So on that note, um. Oh? Maybe not a DR. We've moved a game. So, I guess this makes sense. After all, the time compressed world is the world of the sorceress. Sorceress of Ultimisia, specifically, but if she can survive in the time compression, then it stands to reason that other sorceresses from the ages would be able to as well. I really should have. Oh, hey, you're different. Haste. Really should have given Squall a uh, mug, I was saying. I suppose there's a chance that Irvine will not be able to one-shot them. These versions, they are different. Nope, that was hoping for too much, it seems. I'm not immune to this, am I? Nope, just high-level resistance. Well, I mean, meteor stones are useful, so I'm gonna just, like, keep doing this. Probably. <laughs> oh, the Inferno Cavern! I haven't been there in a very long time. Now, what I could do... is I can do Carbuncle, which will not protect me from Meteor, I must admit. Uh, but will probably protect me from most of the rest of their magic.
Yes, this makes sense to me. Also, I can use Eden now. You know, in theory. Okay, that's the big one. I notice you can draw holy from and flare from this one. Just something to keep in mind. Well, I think I owe it to myself to try to steal from her once. Then, if it doesn't work, we will use Eden. Or if it does work, for that matter. We're using Eden, is what I'm saying. I do have not shown him off yet. And I want to. I haven't shown off Bahamut either, actually, have I? Hmm. Still not using Boost. But, uh, yeah. Eden is really weird, but really cool. Also, Eden is one of the few GFs, incidentally, where it's actually probably worthwhile to boost. Except not really. Like, it is... Just, it, the animation is so long that you can boost to easily over 200%. But it's still not worth it because it is really hard and... Well, yeah, it's already strong enough, really. Although, there is a special surprise here that we will hopefully get to see. <laughs> yes! We broke the damage limit. Eden is one of only two... No, one of only three abilities in the game that can break the damage limit. The other two are Bahamut here, although probably not going to have him without boosting, and uh, Jumbo Cactar. And in the case of Jumbo Cactar, you only can beat the damage limit by exactly one. Because a level 100 Jumbo Cactar deals 10,000 damage. It's 10,000 needles, right? Yeah. I hope you do not absorb this. Also, this sorceress is the most monstrous one yet. Just, no just point that out. I think is she countering magic? That's sort of what that looks like to me. Hmm. Well, Mega Flare. Bahamut has no time for your crap. I suppose she probably has a really high magic resistance, though. That would stand to reason. You can, all right. Oh, you know that actually might kill Irvine. Yeah, it did. Whoops. Oh well. Doesn't. It, honestly, it doesn't matter. We are done.
let's see. Phoenix Town! Some high potions. So, we've made it to the orphanage. It seems. It looks a little different, though. Wait, aren't we supposed to go... This way? This way? This way? I can't go that way, so I guess not. Seeds. We're fighting across generations. We've made it to the future. Altamessia's future. There's lots of dead seeds outside of her castle. There are two things to take away from this. She is powerful and scary. But she's on her last ropes. She has vanquished foes literally on her doorstep. They may be vanquished, but they are her foes. The only way they could have reached here is, it, is if her time was running out. With that being said, I am going to stop off here in this time-compressed world, or possibly this future world, at, on the doorstep of Ultimitia. Until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, and have a terrific day. Bye.